Fish on, boys. Fish on. Fish on. What's up guys? Good morning and welcome back to another episode of Bindi Bang Fishing and today is the first day that I'm gonna be doing some ice fishing. My first time in general, well I've done it two times before but this is my first time actually getting into it this year. I mean I'm at a lake that I fished before during the open waters before and I don't know the goal today is just to catch some fish. I don't know panfish, predator fish, I don't really know but we got some live bait, sucker minnows, and we got some pretty juicy plastics for some panfish. So we'll see what happens, guys. Um, the goal is just to catch some fish and to not be skunked. So let's get going. All right, boys. Guess we are finally making it happen on the ice. I saw some guys on some four wheelers here smashing the ice. So this ice might be good, dude. Hey, ice is good enough. Let's see how thick this ice is, guys. Oh, yeah. Wow, we got some ice under there, boys. Yeah, that's got at least like eight inches of ice, dude. It's good over here. Check this bad boy out, too. FLX 28, boys. Just picked it up this year. I really don't know squat but fishing, but I know this one is pretty good. Pull up to here, boys. It's been tough. Oh, there's a bite. Fish on, boys. Fish on. Oh my god. This is intense. Ooh, big crappie. Dude. Got him. Crappie. Look at this beautiful crappie, boys. First fish through the ice. Not a freaking monster crappie, but. Dude, broke the skunk. So is this why people go ice fishing uh, for the crappies? Let's get some specs on this machine. Ooh, it's a 10 incher. Nice eater. Guys, let me show you what I caught it on. Dave's wedges, white one, and with a, uh, I don't know what you call it, Wonder Bread? But dude, he freaking smoked it, bro. Come on, fish. Fish on. Oh my God. God, boys. Second fish of the day, guys. It's beautiful bass. <laughs> bass tripping. Right, guys. Bluegill. Oh, guys, finally got the second fish of the day. Guys. Check this out, folks. Second fish of the day. Probably like another 10 inch, but yeah, dude. Finally catching fish. Woohoo! Better than nothing, guys. Let's go. I gotta be careful, too, guys, because you know why? I only have one jig. So when I came here, I thought I packed all my stuff, so I actually forgot my tackle box. So I literally only had the two chicks I tied on today. One, which is a gold one. The other one is the Wonder Bread, and I lost both of them. I lost the Wonder Bread, and I only have just the uh, 
the gold head. Let's actually get some, grab some quick specs of that second drop. It looks pretty big. <sighs> Pull out the measuring board. This the crappie right on here. Mouth closed. It's like another 10 inch here, guys. Maybe 10 and a half. Yeah, 10 and a half. That is cool of me, guys. Fish on. Bluegill? It's fighting. Ooh, nice crappie. Smoked it, dude. Never give up, guys. Hell yeah. Nice little crappie. Fish number three. He smoked it. Look at this, guys. Fish number three. Oh, yeah. Nice little crappie here. Hey, ice fishing's pretty dope, guys. Kind of like it so far. This guy is another ten and a half for. Cool. Fish is coming, boys. Come on. Oh, oh, oh sh something just came. Fish on. Food's decent, guys. Another nice crop. Oh. Oh. Yo, I finally did one of those things where every ice fisherman does shove their hand in the ice for a fish. And I finally done that, guys. Fish number four, dude, they're freaking smashing. Must be a time of the day thing, dude. Fish number four, boys. Hell yeah. Number four, guys, literally had to shove my hand in the water to grab it now. I'm now officially an ice fisherman. Let's see what the specs are. This guy. This guy is a 10 and a half. Another fish to my collection. Yo, this is lit. Ooh, what the heck, dude? Freaking smoked it. Oh, freaking pike. First pike. Yes. All right, guys, we got a mission success. It's about the end of the day here. It's getting kind of dark. Gotta get back home to the wifey and the family. Otherwise, I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm just kidding, not gonna get in trouble. You know, you know the whole deal. But anyways, guys, a huge mission success though, man. I caught fish. I did not get skunked. And man, I think ice fishing is pretty dope, guys. I think I like it a lot. Let me know in the comments down below if in the next video, are we gonna go chase some small mouths? Or are we gonna come back out and do some ice fishing? But I think the answer is gonna be quite obvious because this, this was a fun day. But anyways guys, my hands are getting cold holding this without a freaking glove, but uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. You doing there, little baby girl? What's up guys, we are back at the crib. 
and we're gonna do some cooking, all right? My wife just made some awesome stir-fried broccoli that I'm not gonna eat, okay? And here is what we are gonna cook, guys. Our fresh crappies, okay? We got four of them, all of them all 10 and a half inches. So I gotta clean them and we'll start cooking. Just got done removing the scales, the head, and the fins, okay? And all the organs and stuff like that. So we got four nice cleaned up crappies as you guys can see here. And we're gonna go ahead and cut up some of the seasoning and all that stuff. I'll show you guys in the next clip here. And we're gonna go ahead and make the best freaking crappie soup ever. Just got out of the shower because I was tired of looking at my greasy ass hair, but I got my boy Jordan here. What's up? And he's gonna help us cook this crappie. So Jordan, could you tell us, to tell the people what we are gonna do? Um, we're just gonna make some crappie soup. What's the ingredients? We're just gonna use ginger, garlic, and lemongrass. And we're gonna fry it up a little bit in here and then throw the crappie in the pan and fry it up a little bit. Get the fishiness out and then pour some water in there, mix some some salt and black pepper, some spices, and yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're also gonna make sure to finish it off right. So cheers, bro. Cheers, cheers. Jordan's my neighbor, so that's why he's always chilling, all right? But lately, he quit fishing, so that's why he's no longer in the videos. He's retired. Yeah, he's retired. Ginger, and we got some uh, ginger and garlic, yes. We got some lemongrass, we gotta put in there. And then we gotta throw in some oil, right? Yeah, some oil. So how long do we, uh, you know, put it in this, uh, you know, in here? How long? It's when uh, the garlic starts to brown a little bit. And then we'll throw the crappie in there. Try to fry it up a little bit. Get some get, juice in. Yeah, get the gamey, the gaminess of the fish out. And then we'll add some water. Maybe like a little bit less than half. And then we'll let it boil simmer and then we'll add some spice into it cool cool okay so right now the stuff in there is looking good so we're gonna toss in the crappies these crappies were alive just a couple hours ago it's crazy to think that fresh crappies and now we're gonna just put them in here until they juice out and then we'll add some more stuff we just added some water into the pot but the most important thing when adding water into your crappies is that you want to make sure you fill it only up to where all the fish meat is at, okay? Because if you fill it beyond that, then the taste is not as good, you know what I'm saying? I don't know the terminology because I suck with vocabulary, but just enough, you can say halfway, all right? But we're going to wait a little bit until it cooks the fish, add some more stuff, and it should be ready by then. Yeah, some lime leaves, so it's a little bit bitter. We're going to put in some tomatoes here to give it some tomato wheat taste, all right? Hey, guys, we are also adding some moan peppers. I actually grew this in my backyard and this is hella spicy. It made me cry, bro. So we're gonna add some Napa, aka fish sauce, okay? And uh, Jordan, go ahead and add some in now. Boom! That's all we need? I know, yeah. Alright then. And then if you need some more, you just taste it. Add, keep adding some more if you need more. Yes, that's right. And this dude is a great chef. He wants to open his food truck, but he's uh, reluctant about it, right? Okay, now we're gonna add some uh, chicken chicken seasoning into fish sauce. This but it gives it a little bit more flavor. Yeah. How am I using this? It gives it more flavor, but it doesn't actually taste like chicken, okay? Yeah. But it's just chicken flavoring, the stuff you can get at Cubs, you know, with the chicken on it, with the apron, kind of weird. And I know it seems like we're just adding random stuff, right? But we forgot to add lime. So Jordan is cutting up some lime right now, and we're gonna add one whole lime into our soup. We'll just use one for now, this little. Juicing it up. Finishing up here, so let me go ahead and add the finishing touch, which is this cilantro and green onion. And I think it should be pretty tasty good, man. Look at that shit, that look popping, bruh. Juicing. All right, guys, we are finished with it. Shout out to the homie Jordan. Thank you so much for helping me create this awesome crappie dish bread okay so let's go ahead and try it this is the back bone of the crappie let me go ahead and take it out this is like the juiciest spot okay but we're gonna save that for last and i'm gonna put some of the soup all right put it on some rice because that's how we do it here right let me get some more juice on it damn that shit tastes good 
tastes like how it would make it would taste like when your mom cooks it and you eat it. It's like, damn, mama. It tastes good as hell. Okay. Now, let's go eat the backbone of this crappie. Hopefully, it ain't got no bones in it, but that's cool if it does. We gotta just take it out. Mmm, hell yeah, dude. Kinda hot, but. This is hella good, dude. I gotta go ice fishing more because these crappies taste so good. This is why y'all are so crazy about it, but. We're gonna finish the video up here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed today's content. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.